Okay, now I've got the, uh, the drum off, and just what I did fail to mention last time was when you take the wheel off you'll be greeted with a dust cap. That needs to be levered round and pulled off, but as you can see you get a nice new shiny one. Also what you get with the uh, replacement bearing is a nice new circlip, and this one is very bent as you'll see. Now you can either try and extract it down here with a pair of circlip pliers, internal circlip pliers, or since you're not going to use it again, just get behind it with a, a thin screwdriver and then basically lever it out. It doesn't matter if it gets destroyed. Okay, so we're left with the drum, and what's down there, you can probably see, is the bearing. There we go. Now, taking the ABS sensor off the back, that usually sits on there, okay. Just levered it off again with a pair of screwdrivers. Be careful because this um, talks to your ABS system. See the notches there? Those notches aren't really notches. What they're actually is um, iron filings gathered on the edge of this because there's multiple magnets. So even though you try and clean it, it will get dirty again because it's picking up anything that's magnetic. Okay, so I've got the, the hook. I've got to get the bearing out somehow. Now I've taken the circlip out. Okay and the bearing comes out this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it out. 